All right, I'm excited to do a little bit of board game coverage. This is John Delarose, number one best-selling author, award-winning comic creator, coming at you, and of course, your favorite board game content creator here. So I got this box, and this is uh, was given to me from TGG Games to review in exchange for an honest review. Did not get paid for this, just uh, get to review it. So I got this nice little prototype copy of Santa's Little Elves, which is on Kickstarter right now. And uh, I wasn't sure what to expect about this. This is a small box game, which I appreciate for my shelf space. Um, and I wasn't like super thrilled on the theme, to be honest, because uh, like Christmas is a cool theme. Uh, the elves stealing presents is kind of kind of an odd one but it actually works out pretty good. And I'll get uh, into that in a moment. And so here it is, two to five players. It says 14 plus, but I played it with my eight-year-old and my eight-year-old actually was the biggest fan of this game uh, when we played it. 15 minutes, yeah, about 15, 20 minutes, uh, depending on how many players you got, I think. All right, so you open it up. This is a nice touch. So you get this little like uh, stocking inside looking thing. It's, it's like a bag to, to hold all your tiles. And you got all your tiles. And it's by the game's designed by Bruno Fiducci, Fiducci, Fidu, Fiducci with a T. And I know that name, uh, and I don't know why. <laughs> but basically, you get all these tiles, you mix them all up, and you. Uh, what else is in here? You got a little board. There you go. You put all of them uh, over on the tile on the board. And then you got this dice. And the dice is actually not, where'd the dice go? The dice is actually not for rolling. But you flip them all up. So you got your, your uh, here's your, whatever these toys are right here. You got your dolls here for three points. That one's worth two points. And uh, you got a broken toy here. And this actually loses your points if you end up with that. Or uh, you you can, ha I think when you, when you get it off of here, you can actually choose who it goes to. And so you try to like get rid of these because it's minus, minus five points. And so you go, okay, um, I you, you secretly choose a number. So if I secretly chose five, say say my opponent thinks I really want dolls or something like that because it's a three. Well, I the, he'd choose, he'd go, well, he guesses, the, or the person next to you guesses. He goes, hey, I think you chose four. You go, nope, I chose five. And when you have five, and it's the same, if they're the same deal, you actually get to take both of them. So then you'd score four points of these. Now there's like two different types, and you get uh, point bonuses for different types, uh, depending on what you got, if you got the most at the end of the round also. And then there's these matching pair of skates also. That if you have, if you have one of them, you have it's one point. If you have the pair of them, it's eight points. So it's like very worthwhile to get two of those. There's a bunch of other like ability tiles uh, here. Um... And I forget what they all do. <laughs> um, they, there's, a, there's a nice little handy spot in the rule book that tells you about the abilities. Okay, binoculars. Um, before you declare the die, uh, so if you're if you're trying to guess, oh, that's the that's the thing I missed when explaining it here. If he guessed right and he guessed the five, like the opponent would actually take that instead of you. So you're actually like playing mind games with people trying to figure out which one that they're going to uh, take based on what's up there. Obviously, when there's two of them, the odds of it are 50-50 if you, if you choose that. But, um, you know, you might be, you might think that your opponent's going to do this one and try to fake you out because, he, you know, you, you think that he gets those. So binoculars will let you choose two numbers. So at that point, you might go, okay, five and four. That way, it really only leaves one choice left and, and you could really uh, mess with your opponent that way and get things. I thought it sounded a little simple when I just tried this out. And it, and it goes around like that, and you just go around in circles until uh, all the tiles are done. Then you count up your points. Like I said, I thought it might be a little too simple at first, but it's actually really fun. And like as like a, as a family game, I gotta say, um, you know, uh, my my kids, one brother messing with the other, uh, really enjoyed that aspect of it. Like they were laughing about it and having so much fun with it, and uh, they did want to play it again. So that's that's always a good thing. Um, and I thought it was actually enough of an interesting sort of feel, like especially given this is a quick game, uh, that I was perfectly happy to play this with the kids too. So good stuff um, all the way around. Simple, easy to learn and play. Um, and if you have any questions, I guess just let me know. This will be on Kickstarter. Look at the back. It's got the little presents. 
So they're all presents that you're stealing. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, that's the theme uh, overall. It's elves stealing presents because like, I guess Santa doesn't pay them very well. And so the elves are stealing the presents in order to like resell them themselves. And whoever gets the most presents uh, value wins is basically what it come is what the theme is. So it's, kind of, it's pretty silly. It is a Christmas theme, but kind of an odd one, but uh, very enjoyable, very enjoyable. Uh, and uh, I, I definitely think that uh, it's it's about you know light light game to play with the family weight or like like filler game type of thing to play um, if you're uh, you know a little more with a savvy board gaming group. So that's it. It'll be on Kickstarter I think for the next like ten ish days or something like that. It's a pretty quick campaign. And it's already funded, uh, so I can recommend this. TGG Games is a good company. I really like uh, them. I bought a lot of games off of them, and uh, very good customer service at that company also. So, cool. I don't know if the production comp uh, has anything different for Kickstarter, but uh, this is pretty good. I, I know Kickstarter uh, offering has, uh, eight, I think, eight exclusive tiles for, for Kickstarter or whatever, um, and I'm not sure if that was included in here, but... Um, you probably want to get on that now. All right. I'll have that link down in the description below so you can check out the game. And thank you very much, TGG Games, for providing a copy. We'll see you guys soon.